<laughs> well, hello again, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I figured you'd show up early enough. I suppose the girl next to you is your client. She suits that uniform to a T. My name's Bermati, sweetheart. I'm the owner and bartender of this fine establishment. Van and I have a very special relationship. Here are all the bases he used for the past few years, complete with security locks. <laughs> oh, and just to add, there's been no sign of any Jaeger cores in the move as of yesterday. Well, be seeing you.
You must have amassed quite a collection by now. Uh... Oh! Oh! I'd heard you were a regular at this establishment. But I wasn't expecting to run into you just as it was opening. <laughs> that makes two of us. First Renee, then you. Hell of a day for me. You've certainly spent a lot of it skulking around. Up to no good, I assume. I imagine it was half your own fault that you got hauled off to the police station. Wish I could argue otherwise. Should have known it wouldn't take long for you to hear about what happened and come running. Of course. I've paid a visit to the scene of the crime as well. Giacomo was hardly a pleasant person. But he was a decent informant to use when work called for one. I hope you know that the detectives at the station and that reporter are very displeased with you, by the way. Your love of causing trouble for everyone and taking advantage of it to further your own goals has never been a bright spot for you. Don't got a clue what you're talking about. Damn, this is awkward. I can't believe it. Forgive me. My name is Elaine. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. Oh, not at all. I think we have much to discuss. But we're also both busy, so that can wait for another time. Whoever can solve this case first, the CID, the police, the guild, wins the prize lying in wait. That also goes for our presumed suspects. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Be careful not to get too involved here, Van. I'm almost certain that the two people who killed Giacomo were from A. Thinking the same. But I'll chalk myself up to owing you one for telling me.
The next stop will be in the cathedral in Edith Feast District. Those traveling to the cathedral or Aramis Academy. We are now arriving at the cathedral. The doors on the left side will open. I thought I told you to get off at the next stop. You'll have to forgive me for being selfish. But you have to understand just how much that memento means to me. It's something that connects me not just to my great-grandfather, but my mother and grandmother too. And that's not the only reason I want to see this through now. A man is dead. I know you don't like the idea, but... But I feel like I have to be a part of this. Whatever may come to happen. I'll do everything I can to ensure my own safety. And I'll do everything you ask in the field. So please... Won't you... Oh. Oh, fine. You're the client. I can see you at least know your way around that staff and arts. <sighs> but you're gonna have to do everything to keep yourself safe. And if I give you an order... You follow it. If you fail to do that, I terminate our contract then and there. Absolutely. Thank you. We are now arriving at Edith Central Station. Those transferring to the Transcontinental Railroad. Very good evening to you, Edith. It is now 6.45 p.m., which means it's time for today's evening news. President Graham Hart held a press briefing at the Presidential Building in Vontai at 3 p.m. today. He discussed this year's ending of the reparations from Erebonia, and with it, the impact it will have on Calvert's future. It has been two years since the Erebonian Empire launched an unprovoked war of aggression against us. A vile act. We were generous enough to forgive. The price it paid in the form of reparations was steep, but every last mirror was, in my strong opinion, justified. I believe its actions, its atrocities, the past several centuries are behind it. I warmly welcome it back to the international community with open arms, promoting an era of peace between us, even when it comes to Crossbell State. With reparations due to come to an end this year, some have raised concerns that an economic recession is on the horizon. Those fears are unfounded. We have used these past two years to transform our economy, to bolster our capital, to better our technology. No nation has surpassed what we have accomplished because no nation can. We cannot take our supremacy for granted. 
I have every intention of taking this power and using it to lead our great world as a whole to a more glorious, prosperous future. His nose is as sharp as ever. Adios knows how this is going to end, but it better be with my classmates safe, Spriggan. Select your per high grade quartz and select your per quartz set. Sure. Okay. All set now.
that hits the spot. will be more effective. Going all in. Initializing drive. <laughs> there! All you on yet. A chance! This'll hurt. It's the spot. Here goes. Suggesting magic attacks. Commencing battle. Charge attack available. Guys, we all in one piece? Suggesting yeah. magic attacks. Yeah. Huh? Let's get to work. Charge attack available. It should be safe for now. I'm on it. <laughs> Take this. Yeah. Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> Gotcha! They're stunned! 
Looks like a chest. Yeah. There's gotta be some kind of trigger, but nothing's jumping out at me. Looks like he's deep in thought. I better leave him alone. 